I'm really pleased to be here in uh, Greenwich announcing the three winners of uh, some funding uh, that we've announced from City Hall, more than £500,000 uh, to announce three uh, Nighttime Enterprise Zones uh, winners. Uh, 18 boroughs applied for this uh, funding. I'm really pleased to announce uh, Greenwich Council, uh, Lambeth Council and Bromley Council will be benefiting from this funding. This will be supporting businesses in these three boroughs, supporting the nighttime economy, making it safer for women to go about uh, at London and making sure that at a cost of living crisis, we're supporting businesses and those who work in these uh, areas. But we see this as an investment. Uh, we call them investment zones, nighttime investment uh, zones. We think the money we invest, £500,000, uh, the businesses our city will get back in relation to people spending, businesses paying tax, staff paying tax and uh, so forth. So it's an investment in businesses and in uh, communities. Look, we've got a big problem, which is the government is starving uh, local councils, but also City Hall from funding. So what we need from the government is to devolve more powers and resources to cities and regions across the countries and towns as well. Because the more powers and resources we have, we know our communities better than civil servants in uh, Whitehall. The reason I'm able to announce the three winners tonight, Bromley, Lambeth and Greenwich, is these three councils have been working with us. We've been listening to their ideas and awarded these uh, zones. I think it's far better us making these decisions in City Hall rather than civil servants in Whitehall or politicians in Westminster. And hopefully this is going to make uh, the streets safer for women. Absolutely. Listen, uh, one of the things that's unacceptable in, in uh, you know, our country uh, is that every three days uh, we hear horror stories about women being killed by men. Every three days a woman loses her life across our country at the hands of uh, a man. In the words of uh, uh, His Majesty's Inspectorate, we've got an epidemic of violence against women and uh, girls. Yes, we've got to be supporting women, but also we've got to be tackling the male perpetrators from a young age in relation to uh, having you know proper uh, relationship education in relation to extending our campaign have a word so it's reaching secondary schools reaching colleges community centers faith groups but also primary schools uh, as well making sure we design out crime by having a well-lit public realm but also making sure that the police are tough on those who are doing this perpetrating it's really important we have a whole systems approach we're committed in city hall to reduce and then eliminate violence against women and girls. We need support from the government though. I'm Amy LeMay, I'm the Night Czar of London and we are here at the glorious Woolwich Works in Woolwich in South East London. And why are we here today? We are here to launch our Nighttime Enterprise Zones. This is an exciting programme that's going to be um, uh, coming forth in three different areas across London to help uh, make our high streets after 6pm more accessible, more inclusive, more welcoming and better for nighttime work. What should someone, for example a nighttime worker on their commute home, expect to see in terms of the changes you're going you're gonna to implement? We have 1.6 million people that are regularly working in London at night and so having something on offer for them alongside people that may have a bit of spare time in the evenings, um, you know, we know 65% of Londoners are active at night and so they'll be able to go out onto their high streets after 6pm and, you know, the aim is to make it much more welcoming for everyone. So people who previously may have felt like, oh, you know, a bit reluctant to go out in the evening. So we're going to be seeing activations all over these three zones. So things like later library opening hours, we'll be seeing uh, later, sh uh, later openings for shops um, and for services. We'll be seeing... Uh, music events, uh, theatre events, all different sorts of things, um, as well as improved lighting. Um, because, of course, in the evening, you know, people want to feel safe as well, and lighting really helps with that. You've done a huge amount for women's safety in the capital. Tell me a bit about that, and are you hoping that this is going to make uh, the streets safer for women in, in London? I think nighttime enterprise zones will help make London safer at night for absolutely everyone. Um, you know, the mayor and I have been committed to improving safety for women and girls at night um, for for many years now. Our world leading uh, Women's Night Safety Charter has over a thousand signatories. I'm really proud to say that all three boroughs uh, that are involved in nighttime enterprise zones are signed up to that. So I would expect to see those principles of the Women's Night Safety Charter fully integrated into our nighttime enterprise zones in Vauxhall, Woolwich and Bromley Town Centre.